All right, YouTube, middle-aged white guy reacts back again with another Tom McDonald. Uh, today we are doing White Boy. Based on what I heard from him yesterday, I could only imagine what this one is going to be about. Uh, yesterday I did, uh, first time hearing Tom McDonald, Dear Rappers, Hell of It, and Sad Rappers. Um, so moving on, uh, like I said, my buddy gave me a list, so that's what I'm working off of, this list right here. Um, I think I have a good feeling on his views on uh, the music industry as a whole and the rap game um, in its current state. So we'll move on to some other topics that he covers. Uh, I'm not sure what to expect from this one. Uh, the title kind of scares me, I'm not going to lie. So we're going to get into it. We'll check it out. <clears throat> um, so far, I've been very impressed with, with the things he's saying. Um, he's different. He is definitely 100% different. Uh, he's, he's saying stuff that you just don't hear in, in any sort of media today, whether it's independent, underground, mainstream, whatever. You just don't hear this kind of honesty in the topics that he's covering. So I'm scared of what this one's going to be about. You know, before my YouTube career even gets off the ground, I might get canceled after this one. So, all right, guys, we'll, we'll get into it, though. <clears throat> Let's take a listen here, see what he's got. See if he comes with a different style today, because everything yesterday was kind of laid back and chill. I was vibing to it. I liked it. Don't get me wrong. Uh, <clears throat> but I'm interested in see what other styles he can bring. <clears throat> Sorry. All right, let's go. I cannot feel guilty for that I didn't do. But I can understand the reasons why you think that I should. Oh. Yeah, I'm white, but I never put your neck in no noose. <laughs> I never burnt a cross or hit my face. Oh. Oh. Okay, I, I had a feeling this is kind of what it was going to be. Oh boy. All right, let's, let's take it back and I'll comment on what he's saying here because, again, the man's spot on. I cannot feel guilty for that I didn't do, but I can understand the reasons why you think that I should. Yeah, I'm white, but I never put your neck in no noose, and I never burnt a cross or hit my face with a hood. You can't just label me racist because I'm related to people who did some terrible way back before I was alive. Okay. <sighs> so let's just throw the YouTube career right down the toilet right here. He is 100% spot on, okay? How are you blaming him for shit that happened before any of us were even alive? Here's, here's my thoughts on this, all right? Obviously, I'm white, okay? My family is German and Italian, okay? We were not in this country during slavery, so I had nothing to do with that. Um, my family wasn't even in Germany during the Holocaust, so we had nothing to do with that either, you know? So it's like my relatives have never been in these places when all this horrible shit was going on. So how am I being held accountable for stuff that my ancestors didn't even participate in, didn't even partake in, you know? Like, that's the thing. Like, just because somebody's white or black doesn't mean they came from Africa and Europe. There's tons of different other countries that they could have came from, you know? And just because you have a skin color of a certain shade doesn't mean that, you know, your ancestors were oppressed by, sla by slavery or that your ancestors actively owned slaves. All right. <laughs> like I said, I'm just going to throw the YouTube career down the toilet right here. Let's get into it. My parents brought me up to treat everyone as an equal. Mm -hmm. I refuse to feel ashamed because of my pretty blue eyes. Yeah. Wow. And not white supremacist. Anyone who labels me as that because of my family genetics. And exactly, you know, because, okay, white supremacy... Uh, what do you say, Nazi, whatever. These groups are such fringe minorities in the United States. Like, they are fringe minority groups, you know, that everybody talks about them. But do you know any? Have you met one? Has anybody met a Nazi? You know, maybe you have, okay. But, I mean, do you meet, you know... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, twenty of them, forty of them, a hundred of them. You know, I mean, if, if Nazism and white supremacy were so prevalent in society today, you wouldn't have to go looking for it. Is is what I would think. You know, you wouldn't be looking for it. But 
Man, this this song's gonna get me in trouble. This is just gonna get me in trouble. For, for Caucasians, it's so pathetic. Go be proud that you're black, but don't hate me for some credit. I'm not the white devil, neo-Nazi cop trying to pull the trigger. You can call me what you want, but I'd still never say the white. Mm, Thomas, oh. Yeah, call me what you want. I'm not going to say it, though. You're not going to get it out of me. You know, um, y y like those words aren't in my vocabulary. I was raised a certain way. Like he said, I was raised to treat everyone as an equal. You know, so you can't even pull that word out of me because it's not in my vocabulary. You know, I'm not going to fumble in a speech in front of people and drop one accidentally even because I don't, I, I don't use that word on a regular basis in my vocabulary, you know? So it's like, he's telling them, hey, you can call me what you want. You, you could try to, to get this reaction out of me, but you're not going to get it because I treat everyone equal and I'm not going to say it. Race as a whole ain't the enemy. There's racist white people, but we're far from that collectively. White boy, don't say that. White boy, oh, you so bad. White boy, you <laughs> yeah yes there you go there we go that's what i'm looking for right there finally something other than that laid back finally some anger and some intensity like there we go. That I like that hook. I I like that hook. That hook is great. That's an amazing hook right there. That's perfect. If a black man Let me go back a little bit. I want to hear it one more time. Well, I'm sure I'm going to hear it again through the song, so I won't hear it. Let me just go back a little bit here. If a black man is sipping on some cognac sitting next to me, I don't assume that every black's favorite drink is Hennessy. I don't dislike Tanisha because her first name isn't Stephanie. Not only is that wrong, it's a waste of energy. Ivory or okay, so I was reading through my comments and actually I, I got a lot more responses on my videos than I anticipated. You know, it's not a ton. It's, I mean, it, yesterday was the first day I uploaded videos to that channel. Um, you know, but I got a lot of responses and people were saying, um, somebody said that he got a lot of hate for the, but like, what is he saying that isn't true? What's he saying? That's not a fact is what I want to know. I mean, he's just saying, you know, don't hold me accountable. I didn't do it. My ancestors didn't do it. Or, or, you know, maybe my ancestors did it way back before I was even alive, whatever, you know, I, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm with you. Fuck a white supremacist, fuck a Nazi. Um, you know, he's he's just laying it out like hey man i'm not the one i didn't do this to you you can't just lump us all together and say white people bad all right this is how he got hate from this i mean maybe i mean there's plenty of song left so i'm sure there's something that he could have said but i mean everything he's saying there's nothing that i see as a white guy i mean i know i'm i'm white but you know I don't see anything that you could really even take issue with in this song yet. Ebony, 45 or 17, we all bleed the same, Martin Luther King or Kennedy. Yep. They're angry, I'm reciting the facts. He's white and he raps and stole the culture right from the facts. Okay, he's fire, but we lit the flame. He's siphoning gas. So yeah. this corny little honky man, the whitey is whack. You letting history perpetuate the hatred within. And then you paint me with the brush you painted slave owners with. Yeah. White boy, don't say that. You know, the, the, the white boy don't say that. You know, that's what society tells us. You're white. You're a male. You're straight. Sit down and shut your mouth. We don't want to hear from you. You know, but if you're going to talk on me, I have the right to say stuff back. You know, just because I have a certain shade of skin color doesn't mean that my opinions are no longer valid. You know, so I, I like that he's pointing like, like the white boy don't say that because that's basically the pushback that you get when you try to talk about this stuff, you know? So it's like, okay, you just want me to shut up and just let you assume that every white person you meet is a racist or, or whatever, you know, like this is deep, like, th this is a ballsy song. This is absolutely, a, especially in this day and age, you know, if this would have came out 
I don't know, in the nineties or something like, you know, people wouldn't have taken a second look at it, but like in 2020 or whenever this came out, you're talking like this as a straight white guy. Like, you know, you have basically no platform. You're not allowed to have a pedestal, you know, to talk to people, you know, you're not allowed to get your message out essentially if it doesn't go with the mainstream narratives. So, you know, it's funny that he kind of, he has them saying this or he's saying this in this song because that's basically i'm assuming the response you would get if you went out in public starting t starting to talk like this love it see i love that yes that intensity right there Oh, so he, oh, he does the goosebumps, man. Every song, every song he does the goosebumps. Like you could just feel that emotion. That's what I was waiting for from him. That, and that, that's like a, a snippet of what I like. I, oh, just that intensity, just the, you could just feel it. You could just feel that. That's, that's awesome. Like that's, you know, like I like I said, my buddy laughed at me when I asked him if he came in any other style than than what the other three songs I listened to were. Um, and this is like a maybe a, a brief look into what else he can do. But like I love just that raw emotional, like just yelling it out. You know, like don't tell me how to look, see it through my white eyes or my blue eyes or whatever he's saying. You know, that's that's great. I'm, I'm digging this. A sister with auntie and uncle and a grandma that I picture when you're openly hating. And God willing, one day I'll have a kid of my own. I refuse to let you blindly hate my wife and my baby. So go ahead and hate the races. I pray for their extinction. If you want to hate the white people, just make the distinction. You know, I, I think we all can all agree that none of us like racists. I don't associate with racist people. I don't have racist members of my family. Uh, you know, it, it, you know, it's, I think everybody in America can pretty much agree. F these people, if they're living in the past, you know, that's, that's funny. You know, like, how is this controversial? How is this controversial? I refuse to let you blindly hate my wife and my babies. And you know, okay. So I have four kids and then I have four boys. All right. Um, and you know, this is stuff that we think about a lot, you know, what kind of world 10, 20 years from now, are they going to be coming into adulthood in, you know, and, and are they going to be hated and marginalized and, you know, because they're straight white men? Oh, I don't know if they're all going to be straight. I mean, they're young. So I guess they're, I shouldn't assume that they're all going to be straight. Um, you know, and if they're not, that's great. You know, I don't, I really don't care. Um. I would like some grandchildren, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm still a little on the young side for that. So I'm not even worried about that yet. But, uh, you know, it's like we have four straight or we have, <laughs> I shouldn't call them straight. We have four white boys in this house. Ten years from now. Is it still going to be okay for them to be white and boys? You know, is, is society going to still even tolerate white people? I mean, like, you know, I don't know. It, it's... Okay, and I could just see some of the responses from people who, you know, maybe, you know, minorities or whatever, if they happen to come across this video, like, dude, you're white and you have no clue. And, you know, if, if 10 years from now, whites are the minority and you're getting treated bad, well, then that's just what you guys deserve for shit that happened hundreds of years ago, you know, and, and I don't know that the shit like that worries me. It definitely worries me. Go ahead and hate the races. I pray for their extinction. If you want to hate the white people, just make the distinction between the ones who want the best for everyone, regardless, and the ones who build the system just to smother you with hardships. Let's take that back. Gotta unpack that. Between the ones who want the best for everyone, regardless, and the ones who build the system just to smother you with hardships. The ones who built the systems just to. S Before you say. Wait a minute. Built the system to smother you in hardship. And the ones who built the system just to smother you with hardship. The elites. Okay. The elites is what he's to make a distinction. There's regular folks just trying to get by every day.
just trying to put food on the table, keep a roof over their head, keep their job, you know, who, who are just regular, normal people with no power whatsoever outside of their bubble, you know, and it's, we didn't do this. You know, there's a group of elites that have been running this country since its inception and they've made the rules. All right. And did they make them a certain way because they're racist? I, I don't know. I mean, you know, maybe back, I don't, I don't know. You know, I think it's more power and money than anything else. All right. The elites have set up this situ uh, this system so they can maintain power and money. Okay. The other, the consequences of it are immaterial to them. Okay. Cause they don't have to live in the system. They get to live above it. I mean, that's a perfect example though. Like, you know, just make a distinction. You go, go ahead, hate, hate white people. Make the distinction though. Not the normal wake up nine to five white people who just go to work, come home, try to, you know, get everything situated uh, in their day so that they can go to bed and get up and do it all over again. Hate the people that actually created these systems who benefit from them. You know, we should all, I mean, I, I don't like the elites. I, you know, I don't like Hollywood. I don't like politicians. I don't like any of them, you know. Stop before you say it. I know what you've been thinking. How's a straight white male in 2018? You're then that's what I'm, you know, I don't know. Demon. I don't know what his last word was there, but uh, how's a straight white male in 2018, whatever. You know, that's what I was saying. Like, I'm surprised he made this <clears throat> now because this day and age, you don't talk like this. This is big old brass ones on this guy. For things I didn't do and decisions I didn't make. No one that I call a friend has ever owned a slave. Yep. And neither did our dads or our dad's dads. Yep. Sakes acknowledge yep. I, I can go back generation. I can go back through my whole lineage and you will never find... As far as I know, there'll, there'll never be a person in my family tree that has owned a slave in America. I don't know what has happened overseas. I don't know the history of like, you know, because I family there's like a little bit of hunger, a Hungarian, you know, uh, German, Italian, Norwegian. So like, I don't know what happened in those other countries to say for sure <clears throat> that my family has never owned a slave. But I can tell you that none of my American relatives ever have, ever. We weren't here. So atrocities were wrongly committed <coughs> is all that i can offer when i'm wrongly convicted i would never hate you know and, and and that's it you know what do you want me to do you want me to, to to pay repentance for what you know all i could say is all i could do is acknowledge that it happened you know what else do you want from me i'm not responsible for it how was this controversial i mean i understand it is just because of the day and age that we're in but are people listening to this or did they just see a white guy talking about race Really, you know, let's be honest. That, that's probably what it was. I saw a white guy and they, they just stopped listening at that point. Atrocities were wrongly committed. It's all that I can offer when I'm wrongly convicted. I would never hate a man for what God gave him in pigments and I would never plot yeah. against him just because he is different. I would never judge a human for the cards he was given or call him lesser than myself because of the race that he's mixed with. White people that you hate aren't your neighbors or lawyers. They're the Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Bushes, and Royals. Exactly. It's not... Everybody, it's not society that you hate. You hate this small group of people, the elites, who have their thumb on everyone and everything. You know, that's all he's saying. You make the distinction. You know, target your anger at who deserves it. Not this poor guy making, you know, 20000 a year, going to work, you know, nine to nine every day just to try to keep food on his table for his hundred kids. You know, that guy didn't do it to you. You know, the rich guy who owns the oil company, who, you know, the politicians who outsource our energy to overseas so that now we're beholden to foreign interests. These are the people that you should be mad at, not me. I didn't do it. People that you hate aren't your neighbors or lawyers. They're the Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Bushes, and Royals. They're the people who monopolize the water and oil. The water and, and oil. There you go. See? With drugs that they spoil. Got no patience for Nazis. I and, and, and that's, you know, he just briefly touched on a subject that I'm, you know, um, pretty familiar with. It, um, I'm not familiar with, but like I've, I've delved into a little bit. And, and the whole drug thing, he, he's exa exactly right. If they didn't want drugs, I mean, they could shut down borders. They could, 
you know, you, yeah, you'd still get some in, but they could clamp down on that. But if you allow them in and you make sure they're in these inner cities, you know, it just keeps everybody down, trapped in the system, you know? Rough dead, the fighting hatred with hatred making the hate more intense. I don't want nothing to do with either side of the fence, so don't blindly attack me for wearing braids on my head. Hate the people who believe you put yourselves in the ghetto. Hate the ones who teach their children you ain't because they said so. Hate the ones who think you're all the same and judge you profusely because the way that you're portrayed on our news and in movies. Exactly, you know, like again, he's pointing out that the group you hate really is the elites. And it's funny because, not to get too political, but it seems like liberals are for big daddy government. They are for it. But these are the people who oppress you, who cause the racial divisions, who keep their thumb on the normal citizens and keep us down and don't let us unite. Because united, we're unstoppable. Divided, though we can't even focus on the issues long enough to actually come up with any sort of solution or a plan to attack problems that face our entire nation. You know, he's just pointing out over and over again, over and over again, there's normal everyday people and there's elites, Bushes, Rockefellers, Royals, the Royal, the royalty of the United States. Like, yes, we don't live in a monarchy, but there are Royal family, the Kennedys, the Bushes, Rockefeller, um, <clears throat> what, what, you know, I mean, you guys know the names, the uh, Koch brothers and, and, uh, you, uh, you know, all the other guys, I, I can't remember, um, off the top of my head. There's so many sleazy little groups of people and, and stuff like that, that, um, sleazy families, I should say that, you know, kind of have, have had their thumb on the scales of, of this country for, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 years or longer. So. How was this controversial? I just, you know, I don't know. As a white guy, I just don't get it. And like you said, I don't want part of either side of the fence, you know, and that's kind of like me. Like I, I don't see it the way other people see it. You know, I try to look at things logically and at the end of the day, I just want to be left alone. I just want to do what I have to do through my day to go to bed at night so I can wake up and do it again the next day. You know, I'm not trying to have negative energy in my life. I'm too old for that. You know, it's like, so where was I going with that? <clears throat> oh yeah. So like, you know, he's saying, I don't want part of any of this. I just want to be me. I want to be able to braid my hair and not have to, you know, answer to my, you know, what's it called? Cultural appropriation. When you do that, you know, it, it, it's not even, but you know, I'm sure that's why I could assume. <clears throat> Hate the ones who think you're all the same and judge you profusely because the way that you're portrayed on our news and in movies. And that's what, you know, the way that you're portrayed on our news and our movies, you know, it's like there's the stereotypes are portrayed through the movies, through news, you know, uh, look at the type of people that they choose to put, put on news. You know, there's, you go to a story or whatever, and there's people standing around, they always grab, and it doesn't matter what color, whether they're black, white, whatever, they grab the most ignorant person they could find there just so they can get a good sound bite from them you know makes you it, it just and it projects this image of what that person or these people are like being white and being racist aren't the same man i promise Exa no yep. it's hard to tell the difference if i'm just being honest it's not hard I to tell the, the difference chance to show you i'm not part of the problem and you owe it to yourselves we got so much in common you know <clears throat> you can go on youtube right now and just watch, you know, I watch uh, content in a bunch of different areas, you know, and I watch white guys, black guys, Asian guys, Mexican guys, you know, girls, whatever. It doesn't matter race, color, creed, religion. I watch an assortment of people. And since I'm watching videos on similar topics with similar or with different creators, you see that like a lot of these people have very similar mindsets. They have very similar ideologies. They have a lot in common and they come from completely, completely different backgrounds. You know, we are all not as different as the elites would like us to believe. All right. At the end of the day, our struggles are similar. 
Our goals are similar. Our desires are similar. We're human beings. We are wired and coded essentially the same. Slight variations. Your, your upbringing is going to make you look at things a certain way, you know, but at our core, what I want is what you want is what that guy wants. We want to be happy. We want, you know, we want to go about our business, whatever, you know, it's like, yeah, you have your outlier groups, you know, you have damaged people, of course, you know, but if you're just looking at the biggest cross section, you know, the, the, the most, you know, it, you know, those little Venn diagrams, you draw the circles and then you put stuff in, you know, and if it, if it goes into both circles, you put it in the middle section between the circles. There's a lot of us that fit in that little section where both of the circles converge. All right. A lot of us fit there a lot more than what the elites of this country and of this world want us to realize. Because if we realize we have all this stuff in common and that, you know, we have the same desires and goals, then we unite. And then we start throwing our collective weight around. And that's not good for the government. That's not good for the elites of this country or of the world. We got so much in common. White boy, don't say that. White boy, oh, you so bad. White boy, you wish you were black. White boy. Don't say that. Like I said, I, I, I like that little edge he's given, just in that little, you know, that little bit of an intensity, that anger, like, you know, I'm done with this. Like, that's what I've been looking for from him. Oh, you so bad, white boy. You wish you were black, white boy, dear white boy. Wow. You know, this guy, um, this, this, this guy is real. He's the real deal. He's talking, what he's talking about is, how is he not, like, removed from all these platforms, you know, with, with how today's going? Like I said, you know, what he's saying is not controversial, but in today's day and age, for whatever reason it is. You know, if you think normally, if you have a normal brain, you would not find a problem with most of what he said there. You know, but, like, in today's day and age, how is he getting away with talking about this stuff? You know, I mean, he's taking shots at big pharma, the music industry, race relations, uh, the elites of the country. I mean, you know, I have never heard a rapper that not only raps about this stuff, but does it lyrically, doesn't force it, makes it sound good. Like this guy, this, this song's impressive. This is impressive. Like I said, my, my YouTube career might be over right after this, uh, I upload this because somebody, you know, might see it that don't, doesn't appreciate my thoughts on it and, and cancel me before I even get my feet off the ground. But hey, it is what it is. Um, <clears throat> this was phenomenal. This was absolutely phenomenal. And like I said, I understand he got a lot of hate from this, but I don't understand why. Like I said, maybe it's just, it's a disconnect from being white, I guess. I, that's the only thing I could come up with. But um yeah, that'll do it. Well, that'll be the white boy reaction. Uh, I give that one. I mean, that to me so far has been my favorite. That is my favorite song. Um, <clears throat> the beat, the 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 verses, uh, and definitely the hook. That hook was awesome. And the fact that he was able to show me that he has more than just that laid back flow. He has a little bit more. It's almost, you know, I don't even know how to explain it, you know, because it was just a little bit. It wasn't like all out, but it was... Uh, this was, this was good. This is a good song. It's a damn good song. So, <clears throat> all right, Tom McDonald, white boy. And that'll do it for this um, episode today. We'll see you guys in a little bit. I might try to get one more video at least up today. Um, <clears throat> let me see what we got. <clears throat> I, I, I hear this house is insane. So we'll probably do that one next. All right, guys. Middle-aged white guy out. Peace.